hello again. So now that we have one side of the earphone done, or headphones, one ear of the headphones done, we should just, um, it makes a lot of sense since the right side is going to need to be the same thing. Let's copy and paste this. Now you really, well, you could copy and paste. We're going to use the move copy option under here. Um, but we don't want to do that until these are one piece. And so, as you know, we can combine these two. So again, I'm going to go to modify combine. I'm going to click left ear as the main piece and I'm going to click body three as the piece to add on. And then I have to switch this to join and then I click OK. And you can see that we're back down to one body. Okay, so I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to move copy. And you can see that it knows I want to alter a body. So if I go down here to create copy and then pull this out, it automatically makes a second headphone. Um, it's facing in the wrong direction, so we're going to have to rotate it. Um, in fact, if I am going to click this, you can see a partial. Actually, I'm going to go all the way to the top. When we look at this all the way from the top, we can see the rotation handle. So if I turn this rotation handle 180 degrees, and then I can continue to move it um, so that it's aligned with the first one. And it should align pretty well. It's not snapping correctly. So if I zoom in, I'm going to collapse that. Yeah, it's not, it's not snapping right. Whoops. So 45 is too much, 40 is too little. Let's try 42. Nope, I think it's going to have to be 43. That looks aligned properly. So I'm going to hit enter. Oh, enter didn't work, so I'll just click OK. And now you can see I have both earpieces of the headphones. And I'll twist it around this way. And they're pretty well aligned with each other. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, you don't have to rename yours if you don't want to, but I'm going to just because I think it's good for teaching purposes. Okay, so now we need a Thing that goes over the head and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a big um, cylinder and I'm gonna cut a lot of it I'm gonna cut it twice so I'm gonna go create cylinder and I want to do it on this wall you'll see why in a moment but I don't want it to touch those two headphones yet. And it's got to be pretty big, so I'm going to try it up here. So this way I can see. Okay, I'm choosing these intersection points. I might need to go in between like that. You'll see why I'm measuring it this way in a moment. Okay, so it is. It's the start of a cylinder. If I look at the top, I'm going to want it to be a little thicker. So I'm going to pull it out to 10. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm actually going to reposition it now. So I'm going to click body 5. And I'm going to go to move copy. And I'm going to push it a little bit this way. And push it a little bit this way. Again, it's it's snapping in between so let me do 2.5 so that's pretty well positioned so there's two things i want to do to this <clears throat> i'm going to create another cylinder um, to cut away because i want to be left with only the headband that goes over the top um, so i'm going to go to create and I'm going to make another cylinder and I'm going to make it on the face of this cylinder. So 
you can see as I move my mouse, my mouse around, it's, it'll show me the center point, which is what we want. So I'm going to take the center point. I'm going to drag this out to about there. And then I'm going to flip to the top because I'm going to push it back that way. And since it turned red, you can see it's now going to cut. So when I click OK or hit Enter, it cuts that out. And the last thing I'm going to need to do is get rid of most of it. Maybe not most of it, but um, so I'm actually going to flip to the top to make the box. No, that's a bad idea. So I want to make a box about that size. Um, so let's go create box. And I'm going to go, whoops, from here to here. It's good that it's red. It's going to cut it out. The problem might be there. See, it created it in the middle. Um, so that's a little bit of a problem. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to flip back this way. I'm going to make the rectangle above it, or the box above it. That way I can control how it's facing, and I can still see the dimensions of that so that I can make it big enough. Um, whoops. So I'm going to go from here to here. I think that's at least this half. I don't want it touching the sphere. Um, and then I'm going to flip to the top again. And I'm going to pull it out. I know 20 is bigger because the ring itself is 10. So I'm going to click OK. And now what I have to do is move this rectangle. So you have to select it first, right click, move copy. Let's move it this way. And if we look at the bottom, we'll see that it's completely overlapping it. Let me go back to this. Now I'm going to move it down. I'm going to pan a little and move it down more. I think I'm, I want a little bit more than half of that ring. So I like this positioning. And again, if I look at it from the top, you can see that the part I don't want is completely covered. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go back to combine. And I'm going to click the ring. That's what I want to keep. And then I'm going to click the box because that's what I want to cut. And it, since it's not showing red, I knew it wasn't uncut. So now I go to cut. And it'll show everything will disappear. And now I can click OK. And I'm just left with the head. It's pretty cool. OK. So now I'm going to select this. And so I traced it to select. I think you know you can use that to select. Um, I'm going to go back to move copy. Oops. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, there it is. Move copy. I'm going to start moving it down. Then I'm going to pan the screen. Then I'm going to move it down more. Actually, the positioning I did ahead of time really worked well because it was all set to be placed. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to hit OK. And then I think I'm going to combine all three of these pieces. So I'm going to go back to combine. And I think I'm going to make the body the root part of this, and then I'll rename it after. So, whoops, let me click cancel. Modify, combine. I'm going to make this the target body, and then I'm going to make this and this the pieces to add on. They turned red, so that reminds me I have to go to join instead of cut, and I'm going to click OK. So now I have a full set of headphones. Um, the only thing we're missing is the cable. Um, I think I'm going to do that in one last video. So let me name this headphones. 
um, but it's pretty good so far. I'm going to put it in that view so you can see it better. It's a pretty nice looking set of headphones. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video and I see we'll see you for the final step in a couple minutes.